Hello. Okay. Beautiful beans. Um, I want to start by grounding first. So let's take a deep belly breath. <sighs> Dropping our weight to the ground, making that connection with the earth. And as we take another deep breath, sending that energy from the earth through the base of our feet, up through our spine, up through the crown of our head, connecting to the energies of the universe. Connecting the heavens above and the earth below. And at the same time, we call upon all our angels, saints, spirit guides, helpers, all who surround us and protect us, our soul family, our light family, our higher selves, our guardian angels, and all who watch over us. We invite you with us here and now to this portal of 1111, mm -hmm. as well as you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Remembering as we're connected to the earth and the universe to stay centered in our hearts. Placing your hands above mm. your hearts, making direct contact with your body, with your heart portal, really feeling it physically, mentally, spiritually. Mm. Your heart is the bridge between the lower, lower and higher realms. So really feel it and connect. Imagine a silver cord going all the way through the earth, all the way through the universe, pulsing at the heart. Your own portal opens now at 11 11. On 11 11. Is it? It's probably it. Probably. <laughs> oh, we just wanted to take some time to connect with you and to send you some beautiful, magical love right now. From two angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shepherding in a new beginning. Um, using this momentum of this portal energy to bring into the reality here and now of everything that we would desire. So mm -hmm. what should we manifest into our mm. portal light? Um, you know, 1111 is all about divine alignment. One, 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 two, two. It's two. <laughs> it's all about oh, the alignment um, and the magic of twos. Uh, Archangel Metatron, that bridge, it's it's alignment. So I manifest the highest alignment for everyone out there to really truly align with their higher selves and with their lower selves. Going forward in 2023 with everything that we've seen, you have to incorporate and encompass both the higher and the lower realms. You have to work with your shadow. You have to integrate it so that you don't get triggered in ways that will set you backwards and away from your heart, away from unity consciousness. I've seen a lot of that right now. So the aligning with the true, all that is aligning with your true self, your true higher self, your true purpose, your true divinity, and staying in that center. When you align with all that, you align with your heart. It's automatic. It's the way the universe is set up. So yeah, just pure magic, manifestation, alignment. You imagine like the 11 11s, like the ones, it's like these bars, these grids, these like solid pillars in your life. What you need to align with is like bursting through the ground, bursting through the ceiling and into the universe. Mm. Solid steel, golden beams that are untouchable and unbreakable. Imagine that for yourself. Imagine the beams around you, grounding you and lifting you at the same time while staying centered in your heart. So divine alignment is something that I've been trying to manifest in my life for a long time now. And sometimes it's easier said than done, but totally. I think the pillars for anchoring us into this path are consistency, commitment, and dedication, and discipline. Yes! I couldn't have said it. And these, these are the golden pillars that you're talking about. These are literally the golden pillars. That's like literally what it is. Yeah. Girl, I so, couldn't have said that. Yeah. I'm on the same. We're always on the same page, I'm telling you. So it's, I, wow. it's, it can be as simple as choose what you want, be clear as be clear and as specific as possible as what you want to bring into your life and say no to everything that's not that. Yeah. As yeah. simple as that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, being rooted in your heart, and I'm saying oh, that yeah. over and over and over again because we have a pol we live in a polarizing universe and we have opposing viewpoints. Sometimes we have our mind, we have our heart. Sometimes we let our mind win. And, and right now, with the energy that is right now, it is extremely polarizing. So I'm saying 
be in your heart because that's who you truly are. Mm. That's where you really stand. You, compassion is your only key to Zion. Oh, and that lies within the kingdom yeah. of heaven, which lies within your heart. That is the way the universe is set up, you guys. So I'm just letting you end on a little key. So staying there will take you to your true path. Staying in unity consciousness, in unity consciousness, you will find the highest expression of what being a human being actually truly is. Everything else is just a distraction. It's just an illusion. Yes. yes. You want to get to the real nitty gritty of who you are, utilizing these four pillars of golden light. It's in here. So again, like to bring it more in a grounded way, because again, sometimes it's easier said than done. Like how it's one thing to say, stay grounded in your heart, but like, how do you actually do that? Yeah. So for me personally, I know maybe meditation is not so tangible for a lot of people, but truly it's what humanity needs at this point to come back into unity consciousness. And so this is your invitation. This is your encouragement. This is your little poke to try it because my encouragement would be to meditate on the heart. And it's as simple as taking five minutes a day, sitting down and literally just focusing on your heart. That's yeah, it, yeah. that's it. That's how I open my heart. There's 10 million different ways under the sun to do that. Yeah. I mean, but like I had my particular practice for months where I would consistently meditate on my heart twice a day. Mm -hmm. And holy shit, it's like a physical, yeah. energetic, um, tangible feeling that uh, it's like the feeling of like stepping into a warm jacuzzi on a cold winter day it's like this warm fuzzy blanket this just like it's your electromagnetic field yeah that's what that is you know your heart produces the largest electromagnetic field around your body your heart is smart it has its own set of neurons literally yes it's called the 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 brain within the heart tiny brain within the heart it literally has a name and when you concentrate on your heart when you think about your heart what I do is, as a heart math mentor, I do breath work through the heart. So you mm. imagine you're breathing in and out of your heart center. Mm. So you just mm -hmm. focus here and imagine your breath going in and out. Heart-focused breathing. And if you want to take it to the next level, you'll do what's called implementing a um, heart-focused emotion. So I use gratitude, appreciation, care, mm. and love Definitely. for a person, place, or a thing, or just a general feeling. And take that and I breathe it in and out of my heart 360 degrees all the way around imagining it like ripples in a pond going out and in through your heart five minutes this one takes in fact you, you know you're the neural pathogens change within 30 seconds of wow. heart focused breathing and then another level but um on top of that is if you have the skill of visualization and truly i think this is mm -hmm. a skill that we all need to start developing in terms of our um spiritual path it is, is when you visualize you're using your third eye's ability and so you can imagine like a golden ray like when you're imagining these ripples going out you can imagine that like a golden light um and if you can't visualize that's also fine just to maintain your focus here but mm -hmm. like in terms of if you want to add that extra step yeah. your um, imagination is powerful it goes oh a long way gosh, and yeah, you don't think understand. you're just imagining yeah. it your imagination sometimes your brain when you imagine certain situations or if you're daydreaming can't you still get shocked you still get jolted you still feel those emotions because your brain and your body are really synced and sometimes your imagination can be just as real to you so make it real in your imagination and use that it's a really powerful spiritual tool um, to manifest and to feel and to connect with the spirit realm. <sighs> <laughs> I love you. Whoever the fuck is watching, yeah. I love you so much. And yeah, we just wanted to send out a little special message of love we had. I actually didn't know we were going to do all this, but <laughs> yeah, we did it. And we just wanted to send some love in a time where we really need to focus on that particular vibration love. Exactly. So moving forward, I hope and pray that you continue to deepen this connection with this, with yourself, through your heart. And once you deepen your connection to yourself, this inherent love ripples out into the universe. And truly this evolution of consciousness starts from self. And mm -hmm. that is the revolution of now, mm -hmm. is evolution, involution. Mm -hmm involution and it will take you to your highest alignment truly it will and that doesn't mean it's going to be a straight beam up it will have its ups and downs we growth is like human this. growth is not so linear. don't yeah yeah when you're ready to upgrade you'll come across another challenge because you're ready to face it you're ready to 
um, transmute that challenge into something beautiful and something that you can stand on. So happy 11-11, wishing 11, you 11. all the warm deliciousness of this <laughs> divine alignment portal. And if you liked this mini podcast that we just put up there, <laughs> let us know <laughs> so we can make more juicy content like this. <laughs> uh, we love you. Oh, seriously, yeah. thank you. And just wishing you the most abundance and alignment and helping to activate your golden pillars of light right now, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Much love. Much love.